3 Common Low-Carb Diet Mistakes Low-carb diets are very popular for both weight loss and muscle gain. However, I often see people making some big mistakes when attempting to follow a low-carb diet. Here are the three biggest mistakes I have found. 1. What is a carb? It is amazing to me how many people go on low-carb nutrition plans, yet seemingly have no idea which foods are full of carbohydrates and which aren't. One of the most common misconceptions is dairy products. I have had several people tell me how they drink milk and eat yogurt on their low-carb plans. Unfortunately, both of these foods are very high in lactose, a simple sugar. The lesson here is that you need to be educated on what you are eating if you expect to reap the full benefits of a low-carb approach to dieting. Point 2. Keep it healthy. The second most common mistake I have found is that people use a low-carb diet as an excuse to eat foods that are horrible for their bodies. People make the carbohydrate levels of a food the only determining factor for whether they can eat it. Bacon, pork rinds, cheese, etc. These are all low-carb foods, but it doesn't mean they are healthy for you. Don't use low-carbs as an excuse to eat foods that are high in saturated fats and preservatives. Remember that just about every low-carb diet calls for ample amounts of vegetables, lean protein sources, and healthy fats. Point 3. Exercise, exercise, exercise Any diet works much better when combined with exercise, and low-carb diets are no exception. A combination of resistance training and aerobic work will produce the best fat loss results. And yes, women need to do resistance training too, hopefully this has shed some light on the common problems with low-carb diets. Following the guidelines above will greatly enhance your results and your health. For more information on popular diet and exercise strategies, please review the article section at athleticmusclebuilding.com.